In the 1960s, the Hungarian-born American mathematician John von Neumann wrote about machines that could make exact copies of themselves. He envisaged a kind of robot equipped with a computer brain that could be programmed to reproduce itself from raw materials taken from its surroundings. The copy would be so perfect that it too would carry the instructions needed for making further clones so that the process could carry on indefinitely. It wasn't long before some people suggested that von Neumann machines in the form of robot spacecraft would be a great way for us to explore the galaxy without having to venture out in person. In fact, surely, the thinking went, other civilizations more advanced than us would already have done this. They'd simply build a von Neumann probe and launch it towards a nearby star. When it arrived, the probe would replicate itself over and over again, down to the last little detail from materials found on the surface of one of the star's planets. These next generation probes would then set off for other stars and their worlds, where they'd reproduce again, spawning another generation of self-replicating spacecraft. Making some reasonable assumptions about how fast the probes could travel, calculations showed that all the stars in the galaxy could be visited and explored in this way within a few million years. But then it was pointed out that if this was such a wonderful way for a smart race to find out about the galaxy, then we ought to have already come across some of these von Neumann probes by now. In fact, given the ease with which they could copy themselves over and over again, they should be pretty much everywhere. The solar system ought to be like a junkyard or parking lot of alien self-replicating spacecraft. It obviously isn't. So do we take that as a sign that there aren't any intelligent extraterrestrials anywhere in the galaxy? Not so fast, replied astronomer Carl Sagan. Any aliens capable of building star-faring von Neumann probes would be clever enough to realize the danger of launching them in the first place. Namely that in time, in slavish obedience to their programs, the spacecraft would convert almost all the matter in the galaxy into von Neumann probes. There might be advanced intelligence out there, or there might not. Unfortunately, the absence of self-replicating spacecraft doesn't really give us any clues.